If you're wanting to understand how to stake Luna in a few simple steps, then today's video is just for you. Stick around. How's it going guys? Ryan here and welcome back to another crypto video. Today we're talking about how do you stake Luna coin. This is the coin that sits on the Terra blockchain and of course it is actually a very very simple process if you understand what you're doing and today I'm going to step you through that simple process. Today it goes from how do you buy the coin, where do you store the coin and of course then how do we stake the coin. But before we get into that guys please remember to leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy today's video and of course if you want to see more of this sort of content hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. We talk stocks, crypto, investing and wealth management and I'd also love to know if you are a Luna holder or you plan to be a Luna holder are you currently staking right now down in the comments section below. But without any further ado let's jump straight into today's video. First things first if you want to stake Luna, you need to acquire it. So simply find an exchange, sign up and start buying Luna coin. It is denominated by the ticker L-U-N-A, Luna, and sometimes some websites will call it Terra. That is the blockchain that it basically sits on. So all you need to do is set up an account on an exchange which facilitates the buying and selling of the Luna coin. I'll leave a couple of links down in the description of today's video to the exchange that I use. It is called CoinSpot and if you want to sign up using that you can get yourself $10 worth of free Bitcoin but it is very simple to use and it facilitates the buying, selling and transferring of the Luna coin which is what you need to get started. Now that you've bought your Luna on the exchange, what you want to do is transfer it to a secure location. And the best place to store this is the same place where we're actually going to be staking our Luna. And that is on the Terra Station wallet. So we're going to jump into the computer and we're going to run you through step by step on how you get this application on your desktop and how you connect it to a hardware wallet or set up a new account. Welcome into Google and as you can see I've simply typed in Terra Luna and what we're looking for is the www.terra.money website. This is the official Terra Luna coin website. Plenty of information on here for you to look at and learn about the ecosystem, the network, what the design of Terra is, how that good stuff works. But of course, what we're looking for is under the Learn tab at the top, and that is Get Started Staking with Luna. So we're gonna open this one up, and what we're looking to download now is the Terra Station app. And this acts not only as your wallet in order to store your Luna, it also acts as your method for staking Luna. So select the option that is relevant to the operating system on your device and then we will jump straight into it after you've installed. Once you've installed the Terra Station application to your computer, this is the screen you'll be presented with when you open it up. And on this screen, this is basically your dashboard. It shows the current Luna price, a bunch of other information, but what I feel is the most important is the current staking return. And you can manipulate this to show you annualized graphs, daily graphs, that sort of thing, and different time frames as well. So that's probably the most important thing for you to consider right now. But first things first, what we want to do is basically get our Luna onto Terra Station. So this button in the top left, we're going to hit connect and you're presented with a variety of options. Now you're going to likely be in one of two positions. You're going to either A, want to connect your Ledger Nano Wallet to this Terra Station application or alternatively, you don't have a hardware wallet at all and you want to set a new one up. Now, of course, for myself, I'm going to be installing using the Ledger Nano software through Ledger Live, so that's what I'll be showing you in today's video. But for those of you who don't have one of those, simply just click New Wallet, set up the account, make sure you record all your information, and you can move on from there. So for those of you with the Ledger Live application and the Ledger Nano Wallet, of course, what you want to do is open up your Ledger and then what you're going to want to do is go down to the Manager and you're going to be presented with a loading screen. But on your Ledger device itself, as you can see, 
it wants you to access it. So follow the prompts on there in order to do so. What the manager will basically open up then is a list of all the apps that you can install. Now, the one we're looking for is simply the Terra app. So I'm gonna find that one there. You may have to uninstall some apps if you don't have space, but of course you don't lose your coins or anything like that, of course. Uh, so we're just gonna hit install right there. Wait for that one to install and if any prompts do appear on the screen of your device, of course, make sure you are watching and you do follow them. At this point in time, it looks like the install is only 50 KB, so relatively small, but of course, if you've got a Legend Nano S such as myself, as opposed to the X, you will likely have to uninstall some applications. So there we go. We have now installed the Terra application on our Ledger device. Jumping back into the Terra station. Now, what we're going to do is simply click on access with Ledger. Then we're going to follow the prompts that appear. Now it's saying, please plug in your Ledger wallet. So make sure it's plugged in. And what you wanna do is go into the Terra application on the wallet itself, hit retry, wait a few seconds, and then what you'll see is up the top here, we now have our wallet code, which has been generated. This is our public key, which we'll need in order to transfer our Luna coins from the exchange to this wallet. Now this wallet, as I mentioned on this, is connected to obviously my Ledger Nano device. But for those of you who just create a brand new wallet, you'll have the exact same thing appear and be following the exact same process in order to store your Luna within that wallet itself. I've just jumped into CoinSpot to show you exactly the process of transferring your coins from an exchange to the Terra Station wallet itself. It's very, very simple. All you wanna do is find the send section and then what you're gonna do is plug in whatever the amount is of Luna that you've bought. So let's say you've owned 10 Luna now, then that address at the top of your Terra Station wallet, you're gonna paste that in right there just like so. If you wanna put in a memo, so for instance, Luna transfer, and I'll just do dash Ryan for instance, just so you can identify it. And the beauty here is in this application, you can actually save the address. So this payment address right here, so you don't have to always copy and paste it every time. I'm not gonna do that at this point. And then the final thing you'll need to do is if you're on an exchange with two-factor authentication, make sure you input your two-factor code. Then simply hit send and wait a few minutes and it'll transfer into your Terra Station wallet. After a few minutes of waiting, your Luna coin should have transferred to your Terra Station wallet. So simply what I'm going to do now is go to wallet and it will show you exactly what is stored. So I've got most of my Luna staked at the moment. So I've only got 0.94 Luna sitting in there, which is the equivalent of 64 UST. Now, the reason I've got this little amount sitting here is because you always want to make sure you have a small amount set aside in order to pay for transaction fees because every time you do something with a coin, of course, you have a fee taken from it. So before you go and stake all your coins, make sure you do leave some behind and then you can start staking. Simply what I'm going to do now is go into the staking tab and it's gonna load for a second. As you can see myself, I have 99 Luna currently staked and they're staked between these four validators. Now, I like to spread mine out. That is just the way I like to do things. As you can see, I've got 25, 25, 25, and 24. And I left that other one back in the main account just so we can deal with any transaction fees. And you can see at this point in time, at the moment, I have been rewarded with 0.2 to one Luna. So that's fantastic. You can see that's broken down into a variety of different tokens here, but that is the overall amount. So looking relatively good. Now, as we scroll down, what we can see here are the various staking pools. And I'm not gonna go into how we choose staking pools and that sort of thing in this, but key things to look for, as I mentioned, ticks, and of course the commission, make sure it's relatively low. And of course you want uptime to be 100%, anything below that, steer clear. So just keep an eye on these sort of things. And of course, there are many videos out there explaining exactly how you choose 
what you should be staking towards. So check those out before you choose any of these pools. As you can see, there is a lot of them. So it's a big decision to make and it can be quite overwhelming. Um, but as I mentioned, it's a lot of detail, so I'm not going to get into that right now. Once I've made a decision on who I want to stake with, I'm gonna simply select them, and then it's gonna bring me to this screen, to get a bit more info on these people, and of course, then hit delegate. Then you're selecting the amount of Luna that you wanna delegate, so if I want to delegate 10, of course I could, but my available amount is only this. But keep in mind, you do not want to use up all of your Luna, as I said before, so make sure whatever you are delegating, you leave a little bit in there in order to deal with transaction fees, withdrawals, all that sort of thing in the future. So select whatever amount you want to delegate and then hit next and proceed to delegate it to this validator. The final thing you need to know is how do we withdraw our rewards after we've been staking for a period of time? Well, simply just go back to this staking tab, hit withdraw all rewards, and this will show you all the rewards that you have received over the staking period. You can see at the bottom, there is a fee, and this is for Luna for me. If you've got, you know, UST in your wallet, you'd be able to pay in UST. But that's why I say just keep a little bit of Luna in there in order to pay for transaction fees. I've probably gone overboard with the amount that I've got sitting there, but it just is what I'm comfortable with. If you're happy to withdraw, make sure you hit confirm with Ledger if you have a Ledger wallet or if you have a standard wallet on the Terra station, just hit confirm, it will be the same option. And then all this will be withdrawn into your account. You go back to your wallet and then it will appear in this token section, and if there's Luna or UST or whatever, appear in these sections as well. That's all there is to it, guys. I hope you found this tutorial informative and very straightforward. If you did, make sure you leave a like, and of course, let me know in the comments section, are you now going to stake your Luna and achieve those rewards? It is one of the best ways to make passive income in the crypto space. If you want to see more of this sort of content, hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. We cover crypto stocks, investing and wealth management. But I'll leave it there for today, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.